Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to integrate or add your Linux clients to OpenLDAP server for centralized login authentication. This is a continuation of the previous video where we have shown how to install and configure OpenLDAP server in detail. And documents related to this session are mentioned in the description. Please refer that. If you have something to tell or if you feel something I have missed, don't hesitate to comment on the below section and you are watching lanitygate.net tutorials this is my client so how do I integrate this we need to install few packages at the client end which are So these are the packages I'm going to install at the client end, open LDAP clients as well as NSS form LDAP D. The installation is done. Now there is a tool called authconfig-ty text user interface. If you use this, this will prompt you a few inputs just give your input and it will take the further actions to integrate with your open LDAP server auth config hyphen ty all right here put mark here to use LDAP then come at this authentication section and put mark on this use LDAP authentication as well and give next all right. If you have enabled TLS, put mark over here. If you have not enabled it, let's ignore it. TLS in this sense, uh, nothing. It's a secure one. All right. I'll show you that. If you enable it, then here you have to put LDAP yes. But I have not yet enabled it, so I just use the normal one. The protocol would be LDAP, so just let it be LDAP. And here you need to give the IP address of your Open LDAP server name. If you have add an entry on etc host file or if you have a dns then just give the name here itself or just give your ip address clear i just give my ip address over here and the domain name my domain name is lanity guide net clear so I have shown how to configure this domain name and uh, to set up open LDAP in the previous video refer that. Just make it okay. Alright. So now our Linux, this client is integrated with open LDAP server. By default, if you see at the password file, there is no user above 1000. Alright. Let me check. So how do we check? There is a command called get end password and username because I know what are the users are exist in my open web server because I have created it and I have shown in the previous video just for that. So there is a user called user one and user two at the open web server, not in this local machine, right? So I'm going to run this. I am getting this output, which means I'm able to get authenticated or get a information from my open adapt server if I'm not getting this output then there is a problem in between your server as well as your client all right let me check other user as well yeah I am able to and let me check other user but this user I have not yet created so it will not give any output all right I'm getting this output from open adapt server not from your local user yeah all right let me log in because this is not, not my local user. If I do login, either it should be this user should be present at etc password, right? But it is not exist. So this machine is integrated with my open LDAP server. So if I do, it will go to the open LDAP server for authentication purpose. Once the user exists in that database, then it will get authenticated. The problem is it is being logged in but it is giving an error as home user one is not exist which means 
it is logged in it is get authenticated from a open web server but there is no user home directory in my local server slash home correct right because this user not created in my local server it is at the server end so you have to export your home directory from your open web server using nfs i will show you how to do that and i have told you this before in the previous video what are the problems we will be facing it and what are the things you need to be do because we have got successfully authenticated but our home directory is not exist so you cannot store your data as well as if your data is in open web server you want the data here as well right so i will tell you how to export that this is my open web server for this testing purpose i am i will show you only exporting that home directory using nfs and i will configure it on fs tab i don't show you that auto fs mode right now only we need to test the open web things right so what do you do here you could see all these user data so just open your export file Let me install the NFS packages. This is not NFS uh, demo. Sorry, first we need to start RPC bind, then do NFS. All right. Let's go back to your client end. I told you to not use this FS tab, but this is a single machine, so that I am using this FS tab. If you are having multiple client end, don't use this FS tab. Use auto FS because FS tab will mount the NFS share permanently. Correct. So if you have thousand servers, thousand ser client will. be mounted this nfs server so your open web server will get utilized by high resources so don't use then use auto fs so when there is a need only that will get mounted only for this testing purpose i use fs tab the host name is this one all right leave it let me mount it manually I don't want to waste time. Oops. Oops. I have not installed this utilities. We have been to install that uh, NFS utilities at the client end to access your uh, NFS share, which has been uh, which is uh, slash home, right? So I have not yet used. Yeah, it's been mounted. All right. Now if you see this. the home directory of your open web server been mounted on home so you can see your user 1 and user 2 right let's again do yes user 1 now your authentication will also happen as well as your home directory from your open web server will also come to your client all right now if i do pwd home user 1 ls there is no content at so what i do i write some data over here touch testing data it is in home user 1 right by default this you home user 1 is on open web server only so just go back to your server and check whether the data being synced or not this is my server just go here and uh, user 1 Yes, the data is there. 
right Dat testing and data both the files are there so this is how we integrate your linux client to your open web server for authentication as well as the home directory if you find this video is helpful please leave a comment and hit like button and share with your friends thanks for watching this video